Hi, my name is Garion. Today I've gone to Old Dunhevard Station with my friends Tom and Damo to talk about individual and collective memories and learn about some Western Sydney history. So, where are we today, Tom? We're at the Old Dunhevard Station, part of the Old Ropes Creek Line. So we're here today to talk about history, but this place also has a bit of significance to us as well. When we were kids, us three used to play at this platform. Back then we used to call it pipelets, which Damien will get into later. Of course, the platform wasn't as overgrown then as it is now. We used to be able to see the concrete and the piping from the old bathrooms. So, before we start to talk about the history of this place, Damo, why do you uh, call it pipelets in the first place? Well, there used to be large concrete pipes around there. We used to climb up and on, play around. It was kind of like a hangout for us. Yeah. Already we're talking about individual memories. The three of us used to go here for years, but we don't account for society's collective memory of Dunhevard Station. That is made up of the old staff of the station, railway enthusiasts and historians, because as I found out, the general public doesn't partake in this collective memory. Did you know that there used to be an old railway line that went right around there, and there's an abandoned railway station just around the corner? You brought me here just for that? Yeah, but did you know? No. Alright, thank you for your time. Garion. Society does have a collective memory of the station, however, and this is made up of the aforementioned railway enthusiasts and historians, as we were about to find out. So, turns out there actually is a massive historical significance to this place, right? Um, I've been reading a book, Sydney's Forgotten Military Railways by John Oates, and he mentions that this place was uh, active for over 40 years, and this was a major station as well as uh, the other two stations of the line, one of which unfortunately isn't here anymore. To talk about the other stations, I met with rail history enthusiast David Holton at the restored Ropes Creek station in present day Ropes Crossing. Dave volunteers at three heritage lines. This station isn't how it was. Oh uh, no, it's changed, changed immensely. Yeah. It's like the, the platform was even twice as long in that direction. Twice. Yeah, yeah, this be, uh, there was several tracks down either side of the platforms. Uh, big industrial warehouses either end of, you know, either side of the track at the end yeah. of the uh, platform. Back, factories were all down that way. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure. And uh, yeah. Yeah, there was uh, there was a lot of sightings years ago. Yeah. Yeah. They've restored it a bit, and I think it's meant to be you know a bit of a monument nowadays. How do you yeah. how do you feel about it? Do you think it's respectful? Do you think it's done well? Do you think? Oh, I'm glad it's still here. Yeah, to be quite honest, you know, like uh, like uh, the other two stations on the line haven't haven't fared as well. So. Oh. oh well, this area was probably very isolated, see, so it was a perfect place to. Make, uh, you know, to make bombs really, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was probably uh, probably a good place, you know, like out here in the sticks with no one around and yeah. whatever. So. Oh, they had uh, the big uh, the marshalling yard there, and the trains used to uh, come in around from St Mary's into Dunhevard Station, and that's where they would shunt, and they'd uh, uh, the, the local shunt engine would push the the vans or the wagons into the. Uh, there's different sidings because they had different functions there at, at yeah. Dunhevard, like they had a fuse section and a hand grenade section and something or other else. And, oh, I don't think we have much choice. It made it's, you know, it's pretty well gone, you know, and uh, be lucky if there's not shops or something built on there in the next few years, you know. Yeah. Yeah. If I asked you in 1997 when the, tra when the tracks were still there and the platform was still there and the bridge was still there, would you, would you say the same thing? Oh, yeah, I think it was a missed opportunity. They, should have kept the line for, uh, you know, like to serve the people of Rapes Crossing as a passenger line, I think. Yeah. But, uh... The changes that both Dunhevard and Ropes Creek Station have undergone, for better and for worse, over time could be like to palimpsest. That is, the change of places for our collective memories and individual memories over time. For people like Dave, there's a layer of memory of Ropes Creek Station as a historical site, having gone on a tour of the line himself. I brought my friends to Robes Creek Station to see what it would be like for people to look at the restored station just as is. Right fellas, now that we've visited Dunhevard Station, I'm going to take us to the next surviving place on the line. Is it as decrepit as Dunhevard? I think you'll be surprised, Damon. So Robes Creek Station, right, this place was actually in a worse state than Dunhevard. Um, if I show you a photo, like, just of like what this place used to look like, Oh, yeah, like, basically, for all we know, we could have ended up hanging around here, except it was in the old ADI site. Hardly anyone ever got to go to here. But obviously this place means something to someone because it's been completely restored. But if it was such an important station in an already existing suburb, then how come it didn't receive the same treatment as Ropes Crossing Station? I don't know. Hmm. Now that I had taken the fellows to both stations and talked to Dave at Ropes Creek, 
I decided to quickly talk to Damien about his memories to finish the afternoon. So, man, knowing about how places change over time, even since we've been there, and knowing what like places like this mean to railway enthusiasts, and also knowing now that Ropes Creek Station's been almost completely restored, I mean, does it change your memories about the place? Does it change how you feel about this place? Well, not really. I, I think mostly I'm just going to remember this place as a hangout. We used to come here and have fun, just as kids, you know? Yeah. Hanging out. And that's that. Important pieces of history deserve to be remembered, but your memories are your memories. It's pretty cool this place has some historical significance to it. When I first found it, I was just like, pipes, man, let's climb and have a play. <laughs> yeah.